Now, face the mighty bison. If you guys remember before Evil Japan started, I was talking about two leaks separately from one another. One of those leaks turned out to be horribly wrong, but the other one was oh so true. First off, the fake one. The Tekken world claimed they had a source and they claimed the DLC would be Anna, Lei, and a new character. That did not happen. The second DLC was Lydia Sobieska. Everyone immediately went back to this tweet and was like, you doofus. Bro was also wrong and I don't think people will take their advice or opinion or anything ever again. But let's talk about the real leak. So Lydia was announced at EVO Japan. Some people don't like that they're selling the same character again. I mean, think about it. Two years ago, this character was released. She was the new final DLC for Tekken 7. And then here we are again at getting that same character. Now, I'm a fan of Lydia, but I don't think they should have sold her twice. In my opinion, doing that is just not hype. Now, if we talk about the leak, what happened? Shootsman, AKA thinking, this person data mined the game twice. Once, when the beta happens, and then we discovered Marnock's moveless in the game. When this happened, Harada was like, no, 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 don't worry about that. That leak mostly contains old information. We're gonna get rid of it. You know, it's just cleaning up the game. You know, some stuff left over for Tekken 7. And everyone was like, all right, cool. They were talking about hunting down the source of the leaks and making sure no more leaks happened is what they said. Fast forward to when the game releases, and then the same person, data mines the game again and they find not only more of Marduk but then they also find Marduk and Lydia. Now when this leak happened we did not know whether or not it was true but today we kind of got confirmation. Tekken Warehouse for those of you who don't know this is the new account that was created by I believe uh, Merdoink so this is kind of like an extension of them. They re-data mined the game or at least dug up the screenshots again to show us that these characters are basically confirmed. Now we have a tweet from Harada where he kind of double confirms it too but first let's start with the Tekken House. The tweet says, with Lydia confirmed, it's very likely that the other two DLC characters for Tekken 8 are Marduk and Fakram, because their country of origin and fighting styles have been in the localized files since day one. They have the screenshots here. You can see Muay Thai highlighted, Valtudo highlighted, Karate highlighted. On the second screenshot, Australia, Thailand, and Poland. Now these names and fighting styles are listed alongside the rest of the roster. The fact that one of these have came true is that if we jump over to Harada's tweet and we look at his hint, someone says, announce the DLC characters soon. Harada responds and says, raccoon, summer, koala, autumn, hamster, winter. I wanna give a shout out to the homie Lucifer. This person was able to connect the dots and realize what Harada was saying. I have a screenshot here. It says, in Poland, the raccoon population has been established through migration. That is tying raccoons to Poland, which is Lydia, who got announced. The next one, it says, koalas are an epidemic to Australia. Australia, that's Marduk. There you go. Another one says, another one says, hamsters are native to the Middle East, Eastern Europe, and Asia. That is Fakamram. So this has everyone believing that the DLC season one will most certainly 100% be Eddie, Lydia, Marduk, and Fakamram. The color palettes on the image they displayed for us also matches that as well. Now, one thing that I will say about this because I definitely just identified a pattern between Tekken, Mortal Kombat, and Street Fighter. If we go back to Street Fighter, when their whole entire roster leaked, what is it, like two, three years ago, you had Akuma there, you had Ed there, you had AKI there, you had, um, who's the other new character? Rashid. Those four characters were also leaked at the same time as the full roster, meaning they were being designed at the same time. But Street Fighter, they had the bright idea, let's separate these four characters Characters and sell them as DLC. Mortal Kombat, they kind of did the same thing. Ermac and Quan Chi play a huge role in the story with fighting styles and everything. Of course, it's kind of tweaked from what they use in the real gameplay, but you can just see that with those two franchises, the DLC was created at the same time. And honestly, from just everything we could see, it seems like they're supposed to be a part of the base roster. But since we're in the era of DLC, let's slice it up a little bit, dice up the content and sell it to them later. It seems like Tekken is doing the same thing with these characters, with their fighting styles and 
and their countries being on the list with all the other characters it seems like they were also designed at the same time for the dlc one and i think this is why people are kind of upset right because if you think about it lydia mardok and fakram were all dlc in, in tekken 7 and to a degree they all seen a level of success right harada in the past said that lydia was supposed to play a huge role in the story and i was like okay boom she's confirmed but when she wasn't there we were all so confused but it really just came down to them wanting to dice up the content and sell it to us later it kind of sucks that this happened for all three of the fighting games but now that we're getting beyond the season one era we can finally get something new and exciting and hopefully no more leaks Leaks has plagued these three games for quite some time and we haven't really been surprised by a reveal in quite some time. We always had a hunch about who it would be, what they would show, and honestly we won't have that feeling of not knowing who's coming until next year.